spacey. Oh, okay, a little spacey, spacey like a little SpongeBob kind of grin or something. I don't know. <laughs> yeah. uh, well, we're going to have a grin when we see some of these warmer temperatures, Kevin. But I'm not sure about this rain situation Saturday. Yeah, we got a little rain coming in here on Saturday. I don't think it's a lot of rain, but yeah, we have sped up the timing of the arrival of the wet weather. But before the end, let's enjoy some sunshine and these warmer than normal temperatures here as we are kicking off the new month. Yeah, it looks like at least for the next week or so, temperatures are above normal for this time of the year. And that means we're likely to be in the 70s at times over the next week or two. So that's what we're expecting here as we're starting off the month of November. And again, threat for a little rain in here on Saturday. So here we are, our normal high this time of the year, around 60 degrees, but notice our temperatures all going to be above normal. Now we were thinking yesterday, maybe a little bit warmer than what we're showing now, but the theme is the same here. Temperatures are going to be well above normal overall for this time of the year, and it's a very mild start to the month. So we had clouds in place as a system passed by to our south. Those clouds are skirting out of here now. Clear skies, light winds again tonight. Perfect ingredients for widespread dense fog likely to develop once again. Here we are 63 degrees here in Cincinnati. Look at that humidity 70%. So you know there's plenty of moisture in the air tonight to support foggy conditions again. Temperatures range from 63 in Wilmington and Hillsboro, 64 Georgetown, the 64 in Versailles. Most of us because we've been underneath the clouds 60 to 65 in and around the 275 loop. So here's how things are shaping up for your evening. It should be comfortable out there, at least for this time of the year. We'll slip from the 60s down into the 50s and yes, we'll eventually get into the upper 40s first thing in the morning. Future cast shaking out like this as skies continue to clear up. You can see how that fog expands late tonight and early tomorrow morning. The good news tomorrow is the fact that with temperatures inching their way up a little bit, we'll burn out of this fog a little bit faster, I think, tomorrow. So it won't take us all day to get into the sun like it's been taking us. And then mostly clear skies Thursday night into Friday. Friday is quiet around here, and then that front will bring us some rain Saturday. So mostly clear tonight with more fog late tonight and early tomorrow morning 48 for your overnight low after some morning fog burns off sunshine should be a nice day. We'll creep up to about 70 72 by afternoon again a little cloudy a little foggy first thing in the morning, but improvements later in the day your seven day forecast shaking out like this. There's your rain threat on Saturday. Don't forget we fall back an hour with those clocks Saturday night. The good news is that since we sped up the rain there, it looks more wet Saturday and drier on Sunday, so it looks dry for the Bengals game, and then it still looks to stay mild and dry going into next week, including Election Day Tuesday. Kevin, thank you. Hundreds of people.